Hello students, welcome to another question on domain and range. fx is equal to 1 upon under root of mod x minus 1. Well, we all know that this is square root in the denominator. So for domain, the term inside the square root has to be purely positive. Had it been square root in the numerator, it could be greater than or equal to zero. But since the square root is in the denominator, so it cannot be negative because it's a square root. It cannot be zero because it's in the denominator. So now you shift x to the other side. And this is possible only when x belongs to minus infinity to 0. That is, x is a negative quantity because mod of any negative quantity. For example, if I put minus 5, so mod of minus 5 will be greater than minus 5. So it is true for all the negative values. So the domain is minus infinity to 0. Now coming on to the range. Finding the range is not a trouble. For range. Well, from domain we already know that mod of x minus x is greater than or equal to 0. So square root of that will also be greater than 0. So even the reciprocal, since this is greater than 0, its reciprocal will also be greater than zero. No doubt if I put five, then the reciprocal will be smaller than five. But if I put one by five, then the reciprocal will be greater than that number. But in any way, it will remain positive. And this is nothing but why. So the range is clearly a positive quantity, zero to infinity. So the domain is all the negative quantities whereas the range is all the positive quantities. Now, you can try two similar questions. The answer to the first is domain and range is not possible. And to this, that the domain is set of positive numbers and range is also positive. So kindly try these two questions using the given question. Thank you very much.